you hear about this? June 14, a week from today, we will finally get a look at the highly anticipated Inspector General's report on the FBI and the DOJ's handling of the whole Clinton email investigation, which reportedly will say that James Comey defied authority as FBI director. It's 400 pages long, and it is about to be released. Those findings are very important to a lot of people, and they are also important to this former Navy sailor who was recently pardoned by President Trump. He says that he was sent to jail for a very similar issue that Hillary Clinton was looked at for. He took pictures on his submarine, but he says that Hillary Clinton did much worse with no consequences. And now Saucier is threatening to sue the Obama administration, saying that President Obama and James Comey need to answer for their actions. He is here exclusively with us in moments. First, Trace Gallagher in our West Coast newsroom with the backstory on this one. Hi, Trace. Hi, Martha. The lawsuit alleges Christian Saucier was subject to unequal protection of the law. Saucier admitted that in 2009, when he worked on the USS Alexandria, he took photos of the submarine's propulsion system, which he knew was classified. He says he took them to show his family and to deny sharing them with any unauthorized source. He later destroyed his laptop, his camera, and the memory card that stored the photos. Saucier's lawyer points out that his client took six pictures of areas that are confidential or restricted, and that former FBI Director James Comey said Hillary Clinton's private email account contained 110 emails and 52 email chains considered classified, including eight chains that were top secret and 36 chains classified as secret. Hillary Clinton maintains she didn't know the information was classified, though James Comey says she clearly should have known. The treatment given to Christian Saucier versus Hillary Clinton also became a major theme of the Trump campaign. Watch. How about the young man took pictures of his submarine? He wanted to have some pictures. The submarine's not like it's a brand new submarine. It's many years old. They put him in jail for a year. And she does all of these different things. And it wasn't just the Clinton comparison driving the narrative. Two other sailors on the Alexandria also got caught taking photos in classified areas. One was given a reduction in rank. The other was docked $560 in pay. Saucier's lawyer says these types of cases are almost always handled within the military. Instead, Christian Saucier was dishonorably discharged from the Navy, lost his VA benefits, and was a convicted felon until President Trump pardoned him last month. Here he is right after the president cleared his criminal record. Watch. Like I said, I still have faith in the system, and that's exactly the reason why I, I maintained you know, the above board thing. I served my time. I didn't cause any issues in prison. I did my time the right way. Uh, I took my punishment like a man, and I got out, and I, and I did my best to be a contributing member of society. And he is very grateful the president took action. He knows a pardon is not a magic wand, but says he is staying positive and looking forward. Martha. Thanks, Trace. Joining now for an exclusive interview, that pardon former Navy sailor Christian Saucier. Christian, great to have you with us tonight. Thank you so much. Um, you know, you had this strange parallel experience of watching what Hillary Clinton was going through and what they were finding, you know, day after day and week after week in these classified information that was on her server that she tried to destroy. Um, and then you hear this from James Comey when he came out on July 5th, 2016. Watch this. All the cases prosecuted involved some combination of clearly intentional and willful mishandling of classified information or vast quantities of information exposed in such a way as to support an inference of intentional misconduct or indications of disloyalty to the United States or efforts to obstruct justice. We do not see those things here. What was going through your mind oh. when you listened to all right of that? that the same said, FBI was investigating this, you. Sorry. In prison. <laughs> yeah. yeah well, well, thanks, Martha, for having me on. And, you know, the funny part is, is like I said, right after that, he said, if anybody else does this, they'll be in prison, basically. Mm. So it's okay if Hillary Clinton does it, but anybody else, you can't. And I think that's the major point of my case, you know. Um, look, I'm fighting for equal justice for everybody. I've already served my year in prison. President Trump's giving me my life back. This isn't about money. This isn't about anything. This is me fighting for 
uh, the average American citizen. We shouldn't be subjected to a separate set of laws than Hillary Clinton or James Comey, who admitted to leaking classified information to the press to try to benefit himself. Or it's the same thing with Andrew McCabe. Um, you know, these people aren't above the law, but apparently they are. And uh, I'm going to fight that until, you know, as long as there's a breath in me, I'm going to fight that. Good, good I'll for you. drop this lawsuit. Yeah, I'll drop this lawsuit tomorrow if, if they restore my faith and the American people's faith in the justice system. Yeah. But I don't think that's going to happen. Yeah, I mean, that, that's the one thing that we all, you know, you, you expect that. Right, that that if you break the law, which you fessed up to, and you you destroyed the evidence, I I, I would imagine probably because you got scared, right? You threw threw the laptop Absolutely. away. You, know, you went through that that process, but you know everyone expects that that the same rules apply for everybody, but unfortunately it turns out they don't. So now we're going to get this IG report on June 14th. How is the what's the potential for using what you see in there to help you with your case? What does your lawyer say about that? Well, I think it's going to be a bombshell. I think it's going to be very revealing. It's going to show how James Comey decided, you know, who broke the law and who didn't. He interpreted the law a completely different way for Hillary Clinton than he did me. And uh, that's just upsetting. You know, American people should wake up every morning with faith that the justice system is going to protect them. That's what it's there for, not to imprison them. You know, the true enemies of the state isn't the, the serviceman taking pictures of something that he's proud of. It's the people changing the laws to benefit their cronies. That's what's truly breaking down, you know, this country's infrastructure. And I think that's where we need to focus. And that's, I hope that's what this lawsuit will do. You know, it's, like I said, I'm, I'm going to fight for this as long as I have a breath in me because it's, it's truly, when I was in the military, I fought enemies foreign and, you know, and now I fight enemies domestic. And, and that's really what uh, I believe, you know, Comey is. He's a, he's a domestic enemy. Christian, thank you. I know you, you say that uh, you're so grateful for the pardon and you're starting to get your life back together with your family. So we're, we're happy for you um, that that's what's happening in your own life. And keep us posted uh, with this lawsuit. It's going to be interesting to watch. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me on, Mark. You bet.